Yeah, and dust off your crystal ball. I want you to tell me who you think is going to win the first mid, Slen. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to stick to my word here. I got Dummy uh, getting there and then, you know, helping his team to win this one. Let's, let's see how All it right. goes. All right, I'm going to watch from Dummy. Let's see what happens. Yeah, from what I've been seeing, uh, and I haven't been watching too much of the scrims, but RR uh, tries to get out to mid and then kind of ducks back in there real quick before coming back out again and really dishing out the damage with the uh, aggression from his soldier. So uh, let's see how this one goes. We're checking and... it out here now, and uh, RR is actually very fast there to mid, and Dummy uh, is really nowhere to be seen. Yeah, Dummy just trying to lay down those air stickies, not really finding a whole lot of targets, getting those stickies onto the soldier there. That soldier has to fall back. A soldier putting some pressure on from the house of Tryhards. Is not involved in this fight though. If they get aggressive now, they can make something happen. It looks like they are three members down for each team. And now four. Only Dummy remains. KBK has left the scene. He is 72% and running to last while Mad Men's Medic is in the ground, six feet under. So they may be able to hold this second point here. Actually, they will be able to as four will be spawning right now. Titus in chat calling me out, but Blaze went huge on that mid there, but still, uh, yeah, you're right, the Mad Men have won that mid fight, and they've also uh, starting to work their way towards second one here, starting to get a little bit of cap time, but thinking better of it, and uh, meanwhile, KBK has an uber advantage, about 70% here, so we should be seeing a uh, tryhards push any moment now. Yep, and it is, is impending as all right now, the demo taking two rockets directly onto the foot, Try is trying to push out right now. No pun intended. They're backing way out. Looks like they're giving up the mid for free, but as I say that, a soldier jumps the medic and gets the pop pretty much for free. He's gonna go down, but now Madman in an advantageous position with 80% advantage. And we'll be looking at potentially an aggressive Madman here pushing in and retaking the mid that they first had stake in. Yep. It's sort of that thing where teams keep taking it back and forth with that uber advantage, but really it's on the team that gets the most frags with their uber, and you saw that the tryhards didn't get that many frags, they only got the one on Memphis Vaughn after the 4, so let's see how the Mad Men go with their uber advantage push now, as they're looking like they're going to push through the yard there on the right side, KBK meanwhile playing pretty far back, and if they, uh, if Mad Men takes too long, they're going to get uber in time, but here comes that pop now from Nosferatu, as Blank trying to jump top right, he does pick off Blaze, who got a decent force, but uh, very nicely played there by Tryhards, who basically did what the Mad Men just did. Yeah, I was about to say, each roamer just made the opposing team pop. However, the Uber is coming out, and they may be able to catch the Medic. It looks like they will try cleaning up Nose there with ease. And Tryhards still has the middle, but a Soldier jumping in on the Medic. And they do not get him. A Scout Soldier. Scout now flanking the Medic, takes him out. Just Blaze with 69 health. This Scout will surely take him out. And yeah. he may be finishing that cap. He's going for it there, but uh, looks like Blaze is able to grab the health pack, and with Boomer joining in, it's going to be a two-on-one. Mike didn't close in on time there, actually, and Blaze is able to pick up that frag and allow the tryhards to continue holding on to middle. Nosferatu up just a little bit sooner than KBK. He's going to have himself about a 20% uber advantage, but it's not going to be enough for them to get into mid, probably. Yeah, I don't think it will either. Uh, even if they're building this vigorously, it will not get them in and on the medic, unless the medic is out of position. Uh, so it's... A fairly negligible difference in Uber charge, about 20, 30, well it's 30 now, it seems like the uh, charging rate has slowed tremendously for Tryhard, so if they made a play they might be able to get on the Medic, but it doesn't look like they have plans to do so as they are bunkering down on the second point, point. Yeah. and we'll you... probably be looking for a play from Blaze here uh, down the alley. This is just me, and I haven't played this map a lot, in fact I have never scrimmed this map on a team, but what do you think about... Okay, is this map too stalemate-y? Like, it's, it's gone back and forth, we're still on mid, the score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. We're about 8, you know, 5 minutes in the game. Yeah, and I casted a, a match last night, and I've played personally in some scrims, and seen this stalemate happen a million times. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna see this situation happen several times, but Mike is definitely gonna go down here to Blaze, as he peeks around the corner and just picks him off with a nice rocket. Will... Tryhards push off of this advantage? That is the question. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna begin moving themselves through the lobby with their combo, and also uh, you see Dummy there on the flank out of the alleyway, uh, sticky sniping there. And they have that one man advantage, but they really don't think they want to push it. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that's the right decision now. It looks like they're gonna just bomb Blaze in to try and get the force, and they do get it successfully there. No Sprocky pops his Uber, and they're chasing players out of the alleyway. There's really nothing there for them though, and now KBK with a better Uber looking to position himself from the yard. Yeah, and right now, two members of Mad Men are in the red health. Blank goes down, Boomer takes him out in a trade, and Tryhards is getting aggressive here. However, they are numbers down, Boomer taking out Snoopy, 
and Mad Men are having to fall back as the demo is putting on a lot of pressure. Memphis jumping in, looking to make a plan to that medic. Should not be able to finish him off with that scout and demo there, protecting him. Oh. Big dummy there takes down uh, two players, and meanwhile, KBK is surfing around there trying to avoid RR, and dummy is able to pick up that third kill there. So very nicely played by Tryhards with that Uber. And they also get Nosferatu, Blaze, nice job into the lobby, uh, throwing that rocket there, taking him out. Blaze and Snoopy, the only ones alive are the Mad Men, and uh, Tryhards are going to get this fourth point down. They also have a huge Uber advantage heading in towards last, and that could be their chance to take the round. It definitely looks like it will be. I don't think that they will try pushing right now. I think they'll probably wait until they get that full advantage. No, still down right now. Mike switching off the sniper. I, If I were them, I'd play it safe. And it looks like they're going to be doing that. Yep, they're just going to wait and try and get their Uber here now. 85%, uh, so we're just 10 seconds away from seeing that Uber come in. Memphis Vaughn and Blank are exploring the... Uh the lobby there to try and get some uh, spam onto KBK. They got two rockets on him. That's going to force an early pop out the right side. Here comes Tryhards now towards the point. Dummy picking up a kill onto Blank. They're trying to force point here as Blaze and Boomer both getting kills onto Memphis. Snoopy RR going down here as well. No Sprattu and Mike, the only ones alive. He's not going to get the Uber in time. This is just Tryhards cleaning it up and making it 1 0. Yep, an excellent push into last. Very well executed. Try landing some nice direct rockets, doing that big boy damage like he usually does. And it's interesting seeing the double gunboats strat working. Maybe they're spearheading that strat. I don't know, but it's working. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so now we're going to go to the second mid. And RR again taking that top left side and throwing stickies in towards Dummy. You're right, he's beating him out by a mile there. And uh, it's really making it hard for the tryhards to get into mid, but they're going to go for it anyways. Both soldiers bombing in towards that top right, all the way onto RR. They do not they do get the pick there. Nice job by Tri before he goes down. And the rest of the scouts are chumming in the collapse for the tryhards, but they're getting wiped out here as Mike and Blank are picking up kills. And you see Snoopy diving in there to take down Dummy. KBK's in a lot of trouble here as well as uh, Mike is trying to pursue that kill. Snoopy in here, he dies to Blaze. It's the two on two. Who's going to come out on top? The soldier will definitely be able to shut him out. With that, oh, oh nice job! Now Sriracha uh, does not have Mike the UB yet, but I, it, will he land the direct? I don't know. He ha doesn't have it yet. He will crater if he doesn't. Oh, he he lands on the crate. That was a beautiful surf by Nosferatu. He's holding onto that Uber. Excellent play by him. I definitely thought he was going to be cratering, but he just surfed it right onto the crate, taking no fall damage. The scout looking to make him pop on the flip side, and he does get the pop. So mm, I, that I agree puts, with that pop there. Yeah, but. that puts tryhards in a, in a pretty comfortable position. Sticky's up at the door. They're not going to be able to push in, even though they're two down. Those spawns will be back before they, the Mad Men are in position to push. So we're okay. Tryhards is okay. Mad Men not so okay right this second. Yeah, not the best super from Nosferatu, but I commend him on his, his surfing abilities there, dodging around and letting his team get that uber and milk it so they can hold on to mid here now. So KBK with a 30% uber advantage, so they could potentially make a push in if they want to. Uh, you see the Mad Men building up their uber and holding onto that lobby, they don't want to let them in for free. And this push can be pretty tricky, you can get forced very early in the lobby here if you're not careful. Yeah, and what ended up happening last time was uh, Mike pushed up under the underpass, under the underpass, and oh, and there's the aggression coming in from the alley, Blaze taking out Nose before he gets uber, but KBK's uber has popped as well, if they don't stick together here, they're gonna go too many numbers down, Dummy needs to back out, he can't, he's too engaged, KBK is going to go down as well, and that's gonna be a wipe for Tryhard, they wow. can just push this right into last, but they yeah. have to do it within the next four seconds, otherwise they're gonna have four up and they may not be able to do it, R might try to get a spawn camp, but he won't be able to get enough stickies up, trying to get that damage up. He might get it here, he's on last decent cap time, but no, you're right, those respawners are up in time. I really like that play though from the Madman, uh, trying to wrap the enemy team as KBK pushes the combo into the lobby. But you see now the Madman, uh, they lost two players, a key player there with RR. They have a 20% number advantage, they need to try and build it up here if they want to get into last. Looks like the Triards don't want to let them do that, as Clockwork and Boomer are both pushing out. Blaze goes down here to Memphis Vaughn, that's going to put Triards two players down now, and they're in a lot of trouble as the Madman could do an off-uber push. Yep, right now the Mad Men are looking in a very advantageous position with two players up, Memphis Mont, Vaughn going down, Nosferatu down to 70 HP, but they do have a 40% advantage if they want to roll in off this. Hopefully they're tracking that Uber, they could pick off that Medic and maybe a couple others before that Uber expires, mm -hmm. and that would be a perfect situation. I don't know if it's going to happen though. Seeing, uh, I think it's going to be a stalemate here as KBK is just 20% away from getting this uber. I just want to point out at the scoreboard here, Blaze has the top frags with 12, and then followed up by Mike with uh, 9, and Snoopy also has 9 as well there. So Blaze is having a pretty good game right now, uh, more points than anyone else on his team. 
Yeah, Blaze has been making some pretty key picks. That's kind of what I expected to see from him. Memphis Vaughn also making some good plays. This is a very soldier favored map. Of course, Demo is good on this map as well, but the Romes are making big plays. See Mike trying to make a move on that left side, does get taken out by a try and that puts him a player down. I don't know if they can get pushed out for this and oh wow, Dummy peeks the lobby and gets destroyed by RR's trap. So that's going to put uh, Tryhard's a demo man down and Madman looking to push off this blank is moving through that right side lobby towards the bridge. The Uber is forced now as Nosferatu is trying to get a pick on to try. Nice save there by KBK with a significantly late Uber. Uh, Snoopy takes down Blaze and Madman have the number advantage. There's a heavy parked on last. That's Boomer there on that left side. He's trying to fight Memphis Vaughn but that 6 on 5 is coming in. Snoopy goes down to dummy sticky but Mike takes down the, the heavy Boomer. They're trying to go for this push 5 on 4, the scout 1v1's underneath the bridge, but Clockwork wins it over Mike, and I think that tryhards are going to be able to hold on to last. They will be able to hold it once more, and that was a very hectic push, could have gone either way, but it looks like the aggression on the left side of tryhards last was held by a nice 1v1 by Clockwork. Try almost going down there, but able to stay alive and kind of buckle their last point down so they don't lose it. Could have gotten to 1-1, one, one, but now 0-1, and they will be looking to build that over and re-push into last. Once again, can RR pick Dummy on a door trap? The oldest trick in the book. Can he do it? Uh, let's see. Meanwhile, Clockwork on Sniper, uh, peeking the left side lobby. This is a shot there on the Memphis. This is a weird stalemate, though. Have you seen uh, many, like, multiple man sacks in the last? Um, on this map, not really, mainly because the, the, oh, the Uber's coming in right now, Nose pops a little bit early, Madmen are retreating now, try chasing the medic right in to RR's face, should be able to take him out, he's so hurt, he lost him there, could not finish him off, and now Madmen have the number advantage, but Dummy two piping Mike there as he tried to chase and get a little too aggressive. Dummy down to 45 health, needing those precious seals from the medic, and they might be looking to push out here. Yeah, it is a 5 on 4 situation, and uh, you do see combo for the tryhards peeking that lobby, but they're thinking better, but they're going to pull back to last as Blaze goes down with that bomb, uh, doesn't get it to go onto Nose. And yeah, this is a weird stalemate that we're seeing going on. Uh, Madman are having a hard time getting in towards last, and they, they keep losing a player here. And meanwhile, on the other end, Tryhards can't really push out on that 6-on-5. Yeah, what I was about to say before they pushed in was, I don't really see a lot of 3-4-man to four -man suicides on this map as we do sometimes on Snakewater, mainly because how far forward spawn is, it's back at mid, and it takes a while to get to that second point. So they could easily get in and cap that second point before those spawns can come back. So that's usually why you don't see it. What you usually see is a one-man suicide into a sniper or a spy play over and over until it works. Well, you see again, the tryhard's getting that pick on last, making it 6 on 5, but Clockwork goes down to Mike, who comes in on that left side. Mike is on the combo. He forces the Uber from KBK and before going down to Dummy Sticky, but that's going to put Nosferatu at a huge Uber advantage. Looks like the Mad Men are backing themselves off to second point and keeping that Uber advantage and waiting for those respawners, and they should be coming back in, and that's a chance for them to take the round. It definitely is. This full advantage will give them a huge margin of error. They'd have to screw it up big time in order to not take this last point. What I'd recommend is taking a soldier and scout in one direction, killing as many targets as you can. You need to get those picks in order to cap the last point. They need to get in there ASAP and hopefully dodge that clockwork sniper rifle. Well, 50% uh, up. Here they go now. Looks like Blank and RR want to come through that right side lobby. Here they go now. The Uber is popped. Flashing a bunch of people in there, and they're looking for targets as Memphis Bond bombs on the left side. Doesn't get a pick there as Tri takes them out, but they do get a lot of point presence. RR and Snoopy picking up kill. Can they get this to go? There's so many tryhard members swarming the point as Dummy is Sticky's all over it. And that's gonna deny that push, so Madman kind of beefing that there and uh, allowing the tryhards to push themselves out of last. Yep, it's uh, I think you put that pretty well beefing it. There's not really any other way to put it. You generally will want to uber a scout soldier because the scout can chase what the soldier damages. If you uber a soldier demo when you have advantage, it's just simply too slow and you can't follow up on that damage and they chase too far into spawn. The action is going on in the yard of tryhards right now. So they're pushing out to mid using the uber and taking the what picks they can, including both scouts of madmen. They should not be able to push in here, but they are getting so aggressive onto these two scouts. I don't know if I agree with that as Three of the members are now in the red health, one going down, Nose going down, RR down to 30 health, and he will surely die. He does. 
Only Memphis Vaughn remains in their house, and he will go down as well. Wow, Blaze is having a fantastic game. I just saw him just dive in there and take down Nosferatu, juggling him up. And, uh, really, that's just you know, this, the point of their team there, is they're just doing a great job with that soldier regression, that double gunboats. And now KBK, 50% uber advantage over Nosferatu, who's only spawning here now. Looks like the tryhards are going to get the second point for free before RR and company can get there in time to stop it. And uh, tryhards, on their last point, they've turned this one all the way around, and this is their chance now to win the round. Yep. Now they're sitting at 50% advantage, they can definitely take this in, choose a side, pick your uber wisely, and also pick your targets wisely. If you pick something too far away, you're not going to have a good uber, I promise. You're not going to have a good time. Taking try in through the main door, flashing to dummy there. They shouldn't go too far, they want to keep the presence around the point, but they want to get those picks Anything of, of anything trying to get on the point like that heavy. The heavy is now down, only... Three members of Mad Men remain, now two, and they will definitely cap this point, making it 2-0. Nosferatu trying to get that uber last second, and a drop. Yeah, we Technically, just saw... I think that's a technical UCD. Uh, yeah, I guess Or was that after round? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that works either. I'm not, I've never seen if the ESCA stats track after rounds, but uh, we just saw an interesting situation where the Mad Men pushed last with the Uber Advantage and flopped it, and then the Tryhards did that exact same push and made it work there, and it really came down to some great point presence and some good frags coming in there. So now we're approaching the third mid. Tryhards are up 2-0, and uh, take it away, Ruin. Yeah, it looks like RR is having to back out in the red health, now down to 50 health, he cannot connect with the medic. Tryhards is in an advantageous position at this mid, they need to move on this aggression right now. Clockwork trying to get in on that demo, does so, and he's now looking to flank, he should do something big with this right now. Getting on the medic, medic goes down, gets blank too, he can get the scout as well, can he get the 4k? I think he will. Wow, that is he just gets some the 4k. Incredible aggression from the tryhards there. I mean, RR uh, was you know early to mid once again, but he went down early in the fight, and without the demo man, it was really difficult for the Mad Men to win that. Tryhards again, so aggressive, just throwing themselves in there and getting all the picks that they need. Now Nosferatu went down, and uh, KBK huge advantage and a chance to make it 3-0 going to halftime. Yep. Now this hopefully does not set the tone for the remainder of this match. Uh, yesterday when I was casting a, a different match, it went 3-0 to the team in a, in a fairly convincing fashion, but then the opposing team came back and took three more rounds before um, the other team eventually took it 5-3. But I want to see them come back is what I'm saying. I want to see Mad Men try to have a good game here, and I don't want this to be indicative of the remainder of the match. So. They uber in, not very successful, some pressure onto the demo RR, dummy landing two nice pills onto the pocket, taking him out, and they need to get on that point ASAP because Nos is very close to uber, three members of Mad Men very hurt, Nos is going to have to pop here, and they should be able to hold this. Yeah, it's uh, Blank and Snoopy to try and save the day. They're cleaning up all the players. Dummy goes down underneath the point. KBK tries to escape but doesn't make it out alive. And yeah, you made that point there that um, the tryhards weren't focus firing as well as they could have. I mean, they had some good damage output, but there were so many lit players from the Mad Men. If they just focused them down, they could have gotten those picks that they needed. They didn't get it to go, and now Nosferatu and his team are pushing their way out of last. Yeah, Blank getting a nice pick on the clock as he tries to make an aggressive play. They just need to get on this cap. They don't need, they shouldn't be dilly-dallying about. They need to cap this and they need to get this presence back and they need to take this round if they want to have any chance at even taking three rounds because this is a very convincing 2-0 so far for tryhards as they rolled them back from their last and... Nosferatu sitting at about 40% advantage. What do you think is going to happen here? Yeah, it looks like they're actually making that push happen from out of the yard. And uh, Triads are playing so passively, they're just letting them in. But now here comes Tri to come in and take down Blank. But Clockwork and Blaze get cleaned up there by Memphis and Maiku. Come in. Uh, nice job there on the yard. And now with that uber advantage, they're going to be pushing in. Snoopy leading the way with RR. They're trying their best to zone him out, but they're not getting the frags. RR bombs his way towards the lobby. Doesn't chase out Dummy very... Uh, doesn't get the pick on the Dummy. Chases him out just fine. But uh, now KBK has an 80%... Uh, Uber gonna get close, but not close enough to block the point. Ma uh, Mad Men are able to grab that, but Tryhards have their forward respawners. They can go at any moment. Yeah, they're looking to go right now through the valley here. Dummy going in through house. I don't know why that is playing kind of far behind the combo. They're not really gonna be able to do much with this Uber. I believe a soldier did get behind Tryhards, and he could cause some trouble. Memphis Vaughn just peeking about. And he's probably calling for the push right now. Clockwork taking a full body rocket. But not before Tryhards takes a midpoint. Yeah, really nicely played by them. Uh, Memphis goes for the bomb, doesn't get it to go, and then Boomer's able to take him out. And uh, there's a sort of 6 on 5 situation where 
Tryhards could potentially push into second point and force the Uber from Nosferatu. You see Nos is 90% just seconds away from getting it. KBK is 50% here, so he's not going to get it anytime soon. But uh, Boomer tries to go for it in the underpass and gets taken out by Mike. So now actually the Mad Knight can turn this around potentially. Yeah, Mad Men are looking to make a move here with that one pick, and they need to. The ball is in their court. They are having used the Uber and Yard, trying to chase these kills. I don't think that they will get much more than just try here. And now it's back and forth again. Here comes the Uber. However, Tryhards does have the mid and the spawn advantage, but now they're two down. I don't agree with this Uber. They should hold it. I don't think that they'll be able to get anything with that. Yeah, as good as Dummy is, the, uh, a demo Uber is not really going to do the trick. You see R picking off Blaze, but uh, still it's a 4 and 4 situation, and it could be anyone's game. Mad Men have a ton of point presence on middle, and it looks like they're going to get that capture down. R doing a nice job of zoning them out of lobby. And, uh, oh wow, Memphis from behind to take Dummy. I'm not quite sure. I didn't see that pick happen. Uh, but he was able to sneak in there, and I think maybe up the drop down to take him out. Yeah, and now both medics are sitting at about even. Snoopy 1v1 in Clockwork taking him out. Will he go for the second on Boomer? Boomer running away, does not want to take the chance. And now Tryhards, well, they were two down, now only one down. It's about even. They could contest this, but not before Memphis Vaughn tries to come in and gets swatted by Try. And it is... Oh, Nose's Uber has popped. KBK has not popped his Uber yet and just got it now. They will surely be using it to chase that medic. But will he be too far? No, they should be able to get that medic. No problem. A scout walking into a soldier, unfortunately for him. And this demo will get cut off by Try. Or yep. just killed by Boomer. And Blaze did a great job of forcing the Uber from Nosferatu, and then KBK flashed all of his players in, and they just cleaned up everybody. Memphis Vaughn, the only one alive with 9 health uh, at his second point, so he's not going to be able to do anything here about this mid cap. And Tryhards have a significant advantage with the mid cap, uh, the forward respawners, and a large advantage to push too. Yep, and that's exactly where they want to be. They were pushing Mad Men's last, and they reeled it back. Um, Mad Men, that is, reeled it back to mid, but then got pushed back to their second. It's just back and forth action. This is a great match so far. The Uber's going off from one team to the other team. Medic's getting out. It's just craziness here, and they're looking to make a play off of this slight Uber advantage from the alley side. A soldier getting in fairly aggressive here. Blaze may be looking to jump to try to initiate it, but there is no initiation. KBK popping the Uber. Nose does not have it yet. They should get one or two picks here. Wow. And that's all they need to just hold this and potentially even push last after they cap the point. They should be able to make the medic pop. Oh, that soldier's right behind dummy. Yeah, I'm watching the Blaze cam here. He's all over Nosferatu and does get that force. He had a great run there with that Uber. Dummy and Blaze go down on last, but they did what they needed to do. They got the force. Tryhards have a huge number advantage over the Mad Men, so they're going to be able to easily hold on the second point. And with this 20% advantage, they could potentially get into last with it. And uh, again, a really nice job there by Blaze coming through the overpass. Uh, like you said, being very aggressive, and they're doing such a good job of zoning out the Mad Men, and, they're having a, and Mad Men are having a hard time competing. Yep, Mike going down on a little bit of aggression from Madman. Madman trying to retake the point. Clockwork taking out Memphis and taking out Snoopy. That's three down for Madman. They can push into their last here as KBK will have a 30% advantage. Nobody should be dying right now for tryhards. That should be the calm in their mumble. Guys, we're about to Uber. Get in there now, now. That's what they need to do, and they'll surely take this if the aggression is targeted in the right places. Yeah, nice flashing coming in from KBK. They just need to get some point presence here. Dummy's got stickies on it. They take down Blank. Uh, can they get this down? They need a couple more frags. There's so many lit players for the Mad Men. Mike and R are down to just, you know, 10, 15 health each. But no, Tryhards cannot clean these frags up. And wow, even though Nosferatu goes down, the rest of the members of the Mad Men, are the, all the fragging classes, were able to get those picks. And uh, they're even getting second point here now. Yeah, just one scout capping. I feel like Boomer definitely could have put some pressure on that there. I'm not sure why. It may be too little too late now as two scouts are on the point. He will not be able to stop that, but before he might have been able to, maybe he was a little afraid of leaving the medic behind and wanted to help him build. Just seemed like he was on the fence about it. I think he should yeah. try to stop it. Well, uh, Tryhards were able to come back in though, and uh, again, 40% Uber advantage for KVK, and uh, we've seen them do this Uber push into last many times with the advantage, so they should be able to do it. Uh, here. Should be, hypothetically. Uh, yeah. 
Well, looks like they're taking the right side, the side that they don't think is sticky. Memphis Vaughn hiding above there on the roof, but uh, he gets spotted out. The nice Uber coming in from KBK can try find anything. He's missing him his jumps a bit, but Clockwork is able to get a frag on the Yuma's Mike. Snoopy goes down here as well. Blank is trying his best to defend from the point. He's throwing rockets around everywhere. Shotgun out, but he isn't able to finish anything off the heavy. Memphis Vaughn doesn't get it to go, and Dummy hits a nice pipe to finish out that round. Tryhards up 3-0. And like I said, Ruin, I mean, it's it going to be a close match, but the score is definitely not reflecting it. Yeah, you were absolutely right about that. It is 3-0, but this looks like a 3-0 that will certainly turn into a 5-0 or a 5-1. If you ask me, the momentum is definitely favoring tryhards tonight, and this is a tryhards in tip-top condition. This is the tryhard that's tryhards that we're going to want to see on LAN. Um, I know I'm going to be watching them, and I'm going to have my Doritos. <laughs> Uh, it looks like they had a quick ready up here on the second half. So, what do you think the Madmen need to change uh, in the second half here? You know, you're the expert player in Mumble. Uh, and oh, what do you I? think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. Well, I think they're <laughs> just getting a little too aggressive at the wrong times. I think Tryhards has just a little bit better uh, teamwork, I'd say. They're, they're getting aggressive, they're calming it, and the people are playing off their damage and not overextending too far. And it's not that, that Tryhards is playing on another level, but they are out-executing Mad Men in this game. And that's what's happening. It's not it's not like, oh my goodness, this is a roll, because it definitely isn't, because uh, Mad Men has been given numerous opportunities to retake points, to use uber advantages, but they're just not happening in the right fashion. So just a little bit better execution, a little bit better teamwork. I know that's not, not like saying you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, because that's hard to get, and it's hard to take in one minute, as we are going live right now into the second half. Yep, this is uh, Tryhards versus Mad Men. Tryhards are up 3-0 as I'm watching RR get towards middle. He's again going for that top left, throwing stickies where he thinks Dummy's coming, but Dummy actually came out top left as well. Uh, really weird exchange going on here, but RR is pushing himself across, across towards that right side. Meanwhile, the rest of the players have finally gotten to mid. Watching Clockwork now, he loses the 1v1 to Mike underneath, who gets another one onto Blaze. Great job there, and it looks like the rest of the team for uh, Mad Men are trying to get aggressive on this lobby, but Boomer playing with the heals to take down Mike. Blank goes down here as well, and uh, I think the Mad Men are trying to hold on to mid. I mean, R is on the point here. He's got stickies all over the place. And yeah, I think uh, the combo from Tryhards are going to back off of this and give Mad Men the yeah, and what Mad Men needs more than anything right now is to have a couple solid pushes and a couple solid caps on to Tryhard's last point to rebuild their morale as a team, to give them the confidence they need to, you know, bring this back to a closer game in the point department. Yeah, uh, Nosferatu is curiously still on the Kritzkrieg. I, uh, I don't know if he used it there or went down, but uh, they do force the Uber from KBK in the lobby. Dummy Sticky jumps in to try and chase some players out. Boomer picks up a frag on the uh, Memphis Vaughn, but there's really no other players hanging out for the Mad Men. So Tryhard's going to get this cap down for free, and Nosferatu is about uh, 15 seconds away from getting a Kritzkrieg here. RR is getting in position. Yeah, Nosferatu sitting at about 50% advantage over KBK with crits, so they, they will need to make an offensive play with this crits, and I think they do know that they have crits, as those stickies lead me to believe that they're going to be playing in a defensive position here. I think they know. Oh, uh, let's see. I mean, RR is just poking his way, and oh, he's got he a could lot get the of medic. presence. Uh, oh, there and it they comes. use the crits there, and ah, uh, it questionable. Yeah, it misses, but they do pick up Blaze in the lower lobby, but Dummy has a trap there to take down RR. A key pick there as Mike takes down Boomer. Uh, still, it's a 5 on uh, 4 there in favor of the Mad Men who want to get into middle here. They want to force Libra from KBK. KBK 95%. He's gonna get it any moment here now and block the point. Meanwhile, a back cap is going down as I believe Clockwork is there capturing it. And uh, he gets air shot denied by Blank. But it does pull back the players from the Mad Men and allow uh, the Tryhards to continue holding on to mid. Yep, the Mad Men are looking to change something to mix it up, if you will, and to try to just change something with hopes that it would work and now they do have advantage again with crits they will have to play aggressive with that crits you can't play defensive with it because you will just get shut down by original uber charge good old uber try trying to make a play and the aggression may just cause madman to crumble here he's having to use the uber can rr save this with some beautifully land or place pills he cannot but mike finishes off that demo KBK getting out with 
they may be able to save this mid, and I think they will actually. Yeah, KBK is just seconds away from getting a super, and you see them building it up now with clockwork, and that, meanwhile, there's a lot of capture time on the point. Can they get there in time? KBK pops the uber, clockwork leads the way, and does get the block. He's chasing down scouts in towards the lobby. KBK with a nice flash there to save him. But I'm not sure if that's the best used Uber as, you know, Clockwork overextends there, gets taken down by Mike, and now Nosferatu uh, with the man advantage is coming back in. Boomer takes down Memphis Fawns, so still 5 on 5, but Nosferatu just seconds away from getting this Crits Creek. RR so aggressive, top right, lobbing in Stickies there, and making the uh, the combo from Tryhards get out of place, but uh, I think Blaze and Try had a really nice bomb to take out all the players from the Mad Men. Well, Try, I don't know if you saw that or if the cameraman saw that. RR taking out KBK on the flip side there, seeing an opening, a fracture in the armor of Tryhards, and just capitalizing on that advantage, that opening on that medic, and that is some great play. Both medics were down there. Nosferatu will have a slight advantage over Tryhards, but what ended up happening was Try landed two beautiful directs onto a scout that was chasing, and that scout went down. He killed another scout. He killed both scouts at that mid with, I think, sub 100 HP. So he did a really good job there. Definitely assisting his team in the way that they needed to be assisted. Holding them up from their bottoms. Mm -hmm. So uh, Tryhards are in control of middle. Uh, Nosferatu, again, still on the Skritzkrieg. And uh, it hasn't quite worked out that well for them. But they're still holding you know, the second point. So... Uh, let's see how this goes. You said that they can't use a Kritzkrieg defensively, and it looks like they are going to try and use it defensively. RR peeks out towards the yard, doesn't see anything there, decides to use a crits on Blaze. Doesn't get the pick to go, KBK backs off easily. And uh, this looks like a bad situation now with a failed Kritzkrieg coming in from the Mad Men. Yeah, and two members of Tryhards were hit by that crits, but it was not enough to kill them as it was too far. And he was just searching for that medic. So they will be taking this Uber in. It looks like they'll be taking it in through the main entrance. And... Oh no, they're going underpass now. So a quick switch to underpass. Blaze a little bit ahead of the game, going down to Blank's rocket. Both scouts getting a quick flash. And now their Uber's gone. So if they don't make something happen right now, they're going to be in big trouble. Try huh. taking out Mike. KBK down to 20 health. It looks like he will. Oh, Memphis Vaughn with a beautiful flank taking out both Try Dummy and KBK. Wow, that was a nice play by Memphis Vaughn. Yeah, really great picks coming in from him. And now Nosferatu has a Kritz Krieg. They're going to get this mid cap down for free. And. Man, this is quite a back and forth match for him. I mean, we've seen both teams uh, getting control of middle, pushing into two, and having real, real difficulties making that work. Yep, and now Nosferatu has a 100% critical. He's going to be looking to use that onto RR right now. Is the medic in sight? No, but both Blaze and Boomer are. KBK will certainly back out. They will get this point for free. With only Clockwork behind in the alley, he is spotted, so he will surely go down to Mike. But Clockwork takes him out! Both scouts were taken out by Clockwork in a 1v1 scenario. Clockwork now behind and posing that threat. He may just go for this med pack and then start capping mid to get them to fall back or just hide as another member of Mad Men going down. No, they're just he's just going to go right in for him because he knows they're going to be hurt and he knows they're falling back. Clockwork wow, probably going to get another. gets flanked and Memphis Vaughn takes him down though. And uh, I don't think that I think the Madman three on four here should be able to hold mid with the heals. Clockworks chasing out a player towards the lobby. He's kind of hurt here though, and with these heals, I think the Madman are going to come back in and contest this. But you know they really can't find a way in. Dummy's doing a nice job of sticking everybody out. Nosferatu has this crits creek though, so all eyes are on RR as he uses the crits from the bottom lobby and hits one on the dummy. Looking for another frag there in the enemy's lobby, doesn't get it to go, but does allow his team to capture mid, and the ubers are pretty even. In fact, Nosferatu on Kritzkrieg should be able to get it before KBK gets a normal uber. Yeah, and now KBK is still on that regular uber charge. Nosferatu, again, still on that crits. They're looking to make this crits work. They will not switch off. And I think that with Mike going down, Tryhards may be looking to push off of this aggression. Nosferatu down to 9 health. He gets taken out by Dummy Sticky. And RR trying to make a last ditch effort play onto Boomer. Boomer goes down, try taking out two players. Only Snoopy remains. KBK full health should not be in any danger. And Dummy taking out Snoopy with that expertly placed pill. And that was some great aggression and cleanup by both Try and Dummy, protecting their medicinal man. Try yeah. is playing well.
This is quite the round. I mean, we're still in the second half. The score is 0-0 in the second half. 3-0 uh, is the score overall as Tryhards still have a very significant lead and the Madmen uh, need to make something happen, but they're just having difficulties here. They keep using that crit screen, but meanwhile, Memphis Vaughn Sniper takes out KBK from the underpath. That was not expected by me. I don't know <laughs> if that was expected by you, but I did not see that coming at all. I have not seen that yet, actually. So, uh, an excellent play by Memphis Vaughn here. KBK down, they may be looking to push mid with their heal advantage on their players, but Memphis is down as well. So if they don't push this quick, they're just going to have to end up backing out and probably using Uber to get in. Yeah, uh, raise your dongers for that one. Uh, it looks like Nosferatu though, just seconds away from getting this Uber, pushing with his team, but uh, the tries are so aggressive. Blank in the air gets jumbled oh. up by Clockwork, and wow, Blaze with a bomb to take down Nosferatu. Now this is looking very bad for the Madman here as Blaze finishes up RR, and wow, I, it looked like a weird turn of events. I think the Madman just stalled their push a little bit too long, waiting for that Uber, and Tryhard's capitalized. Yeah, and you know, it just seems to me like Memphis going down there. It seems to me like Tryhards is just playing the aggressive game better. Mad Men is trying to match the aggression and they just can't do it. Tryhards are hitting their shots, they're placing themselves correctly, they're following up on the damage. KBK has full advantage, he's coming in on the left with the entire team, and they're looking to hunt down that soldier and hunt down that demo who's now kicked out of the last point. They will definitely have this last as only Memphis Vaughn and Snoopy remain versus six players of Tryhards and this will be a 4-0. Odds in the chat hate me now as, uh, yeah, Tryhards have such a dominant lead here, like you said, and, uh, you know, the aggression is the Mad Men style, like, that's what they love to do, they like to push the, uh, the off Uber, you know, they like to use the Crits Creek to make weird situations happen, but it's just not working out for them at all, and the Tryhards are just doing it better, like you said, and this is so difficult, uh, for the Mad Men. But let's see how this goes now as we approach the 5th and what could be the final mid match point for the tryhards in a crucial match. A dummy hitting some early stickies onto RR, that's going to push him back there. Uh, meanwhile, Memphis Vaughn goes for a bomb towards that uh, top left crate and missing rockets on the scouts. Blank tries to come in to help him out, but Boomer, nice job with the meat shots to take him down. Clockwork finishes off Snoopy in the yard and Boomer and Clockwork are pushing themselves towards that top right side. Clockwork picks up a kill onto Snoopy. Mike in a lot of trouble here as well. He goes down to Clockwork, but that crit comes in from RR, takes down two. KBK and Clockwork go down and wow the madman come out with a mid win here as try finishes up nosferatu before going down to memphis but still a uh, really nice mid from the madman <laughs> rr almost jumping with 50 hp there would have killed himself definitely um maybe a little shaken up by that last uh, interaction with tryhard uh yes madman took that mid but not before try and dummy keeping their aggression up and able to pull off that last medic pick that on that last second which is very, very well done by them. RR going down, just being a little too aggressive there with his hold. Now Blank going down. This is not looking good. No, and uh, without their demo man, the Madman are going to have a hard time holding on to mid here. You see uh, the, the tryhards are going for a push from the yard. And uh, Blaze and Clockwork are leading the way here. I think the Madman just got to back themselves off. They know they're in trouble, but they look like they've cornered a scout out. That's Snoopy getting juggled out by the, uh, the lobby entrance. Nosferatu uh, is seconds away from getting Uber, but he's not going to be able to block it in time. They're going to go for the conservative strategy and hold the second point. Yeah, and both teams will have Uber. This is regular Uber on both sides. However, Snoopy is down. The early pop coming out from KBK. The pop following from Mad Men. And the health of Mad Men is not very good, but KBK walks onto a sticky and a rocket. He is now down. Nosferatu is still up. The heals need to be given out quickly as the pressure from Tryhards will most certainly be just rushing in. Yeah, they just, they're just throwing all their players at the point here now and getting the frags that they need. Snoopy picks up one on Boomer, but it's not going to be enough here as Dummy and Try finish him off underneath. And uh, yeah, you can see that the Tryhards are just really doing a great job of getting in aggressively and getting the frags that they need. The DM is so good. Blaze picks up another one onto RR. And Without their demo man, I, I think they're going to have a hard time holding the second point, but Mike goes huge and takes down Dummy and Tribe before going down himself. Yeah, and that was a nice play by Mike, absolutely taking out two there. Clockwork taking out a, an aggressive Memphis. And Blank looking to secure that second point, which has not been capped yet by Tryhards, but the aggression is coming in from both Clockwork and Boomer. It, it will prove too much for Mad Men. Blank getting rushed by Clockwork, but taken out in return by the shotgun. So, oh, K 
can boom no boomer misses the second shot could have had a medic pick there but that doesn't mean a whole lot as blaze trying to come in barely missing and getting out alive somehow this is a really tense situation here now. The Mad Men need to make this push work. They're six on four. Uh, Blaze tried to make a play from the yard, doesn't get it to go. But yeah, Mad Men need to make this work here. They're down four rounds, and the time is ticking. They need to win this match, and uh, they got to win four four rounds in a very short amount of time here. So they have to get this to go. Yep, they will need to get a move on. The ball is in their court. They need to win five rounds to win this match. Snoopy seeing an opening onto Dummy, taking it. And now the Ubers both popped, but with two, a two-man deficit on tryhards. They will be looking to reset and re-push this mid, and they will certainly secure it as KBK is backing out safely. Oh, man. Uh, well, the, finally the madmen are able to make this push work. Blank goes down a little bit too aggressive in the lobby. R is gonna get chased out there, but Memphis picks up a kill on the boomer uh, from behind that backside of the lobby, using it quite well, but goes in a little bit too far, and Blaze picks him off. Clockwork, meanwhile, him and Try are doing work now. They're just rushing in towards the enemy combo. Clockwork picking up a kill on the RR, and now Nosferatu, the only one alive, pulls out the Uber saw. No, not going to be enough there. KBK takes him down with that crossbow, that crossbow kid. Uh, nice job there by them, and the Tryhards retake mid. Again, this is pretty much echoing what we had spoken about. Madmen are trying to make that aggression work. They're trying to match that aggression of the Tryhards, but it's just not happening. Tryhards are just better at it. They're hitting their shots, they're positioning themselves better, they're working off the damage better. KBK has a 90% advantage over Nose. Even though Memphis Vaughn is trying to make that headshot happen, I don't think he will be able to. They'll be making their way into last tier, and they may be securing this as a 5-0 victory. <laughs> well, uh, yep, yeah, they're just rolling themselves into last tier, getting all the kills. There's nothing the Madman can do at this point, and uh, I think that's gonna be the mat. Wow. Hearts. Yeah, 5-0, I mean, like I said, it was it was a close match. We thought it was going to be, you know, 5-3, 5-2, Ruin, but the Tryhard just had such good execution on their pushes and just in general uh, didn't give up any rounds in that match. It, was, it wasn't a roll, but it was quite a roll. Yeah, they, uh, they were, well, I, I would say it was sort of a roll because any of the engagements where it was supposed to be even, Tryhards ended up coming out ahead. So it's pretty clear who the superior team is here. You could call it the slow roll then. I mean, it was... Yeah. It was excruciating. Maybe it was the map. If it was a different map, maybe we would have seen a, a faster 5-0. But, uh, wow, yeah, Tryhard's pulling out a big win over uh, their competitors, the Mad Men. And the Mad Men are going to drop down to 6-3, and three, which will put them still ahead of the, uh, the fourth place team, classic mix-up. But Tryhard's now move up to 8-1, and one, just one loss uh, underneath High Rollers Gaming. So. Uh, standings are looking pretty solid here as we uh, head in towards uh, the final weeks in ESEA, but I think that fourth and third spot are still under contest, under, they're still contested. <laughs> oh, I, I get yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, under contention. The Tryhards and HRG have that one-two spot pretty solid though now. They definitely do. Um, I am actually just looking right now to see if HRG is going to be playing Tryhards on a 5CP map. That's what I want to see. I don't know about you, but that's what I want to see. Yeah, I would love to see that matchup too. I mean, they're looking like the, the top two teams in North America at this point. Um, yeah, I mean, who knows how this works out for the rest of the week. Oh, on Granary. It will I be know. happening. Granary is week six? Week seven. Uh, week six? So we'll be coming up next, be next week. week. Yeah. Yep. So that I'm sure that will be the match of forever and ever and eternity, the best match we're ever going to see. 5-4, crazy victory. I don't know who's going <laughs> to win, man, because Tryhards looks awesome tonight. And yeah. uh, I wish we could get a post-game, you know? That's what I, that's what I want. Uh, I don't think we can get one tonight, but uh, well, let's see. Hold on. Uh, I think we're going to skip it for tonight. So, uh, 
you know, this has been a great cast. The 5-0 game uh, from the tryhards over Madman, so not as close as we would have hoped, but uh, still, you know, really well played by the tryhards. are looking so strong heading into their match against HRG next week. Join us tomorrow night. We have a, another fantastic match. Ruin and I will be casting Classic Mixup versus Apocalypse Gaming. The fourth and fifth seeds will be duking it out on Metalworks once again to see uh, who can get that fourth sp uh, fourth place spot as we head in towards the uh, the final weeks of ESEA. So thank and you. And more for importantly, who's going to get revenge? <laughs> AKA will mix up get revenge. Yeah. Uh I I that'll be another close match, but uh Yeah, we'll just have to see you tomorrow night. Uh, and that yep. will be at 11 o'clock Eastern. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. Shout outs to uh, Truck Truck, our cameraman. Always doing a great job holding on the fort. Great choice in music. Uh, great choice in, uh, in you know POVs and stuff. I'm sure he caught all the action that uh, Ruin and I couldn't talk about. But uh, thanks again to Truck Truck. Uh, again, thanks to Ruin, my co-caster. My name is Mr. Slynn. Have a